Hi friends, welcome back. Thanks for crafting with us on this Monday afternoon, this very hot Monday afternoon. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Miss B. I'm one of the children's librarians here at the Winchester Public Library. And so for those of you who collected our craft bags this morning, you should have gotten some card making supplies. So we're gonna go through and talk about all the different things you can do with what you have around your house and what you got in your craft bag this morning. For friends who didn't get a craft bag this morning, they go out at 9 a.m every Monday morning, right outside the side door by the parking lot entrance at the Winchester Public Library. So grab one next week and craft along with us then. Okay, so everybody got a handy dandy little sheet here. And this is one of those crafts where you can really do whatever it is that you wanna do. You can just take some suggestions from us and then have fun with it. And who doesn't like to get a card secretly dropped off in the mailbox or in the mailbox? So you can always send a card to someone you don't get to see very often. So in your card bag, you got a folded card with a cutout and then a plain folded card. You should have gotten two pieces of scrap paper and a handy dandy glue stick. So you can be really creative with this kind of stuff. And if you wanna add things, if you wanna use something else, then feel free to do that too. If you wanna use tissue paper, or look what we have here. We have our It's Been A While Crocodile card that we already made. We used our crocodile cutout. And then friends, if you can see, we cut up strips of paper and magazines and glued them together. I'll show you one here. This is a big one, just like that. Look at that to make a really neat abstract design. And then you can just pop, lay your cutout right over it. And look, we have a multicolor elephant. How cool is that, huh? So that's one thing to do. You could do tissue paper. You could draw a really cool design. It's totally up to you. Or you could just use this plain old blank card and then make it totally your own. Whatever it is that you want to do, friends, it's your choice. So I'm going to use the star card. And I'm going to use my stripe paper. Move my alligator over here. See you later, alligator. All right. So first, what I'm going to do, I'm going to open up my card. And then I'm going to put a little glue on the corners. If you take your glue and you just smear it all over the place and then you put it in your cutout, you're gonna have a sticky star or a sticky cutout, whatever your cutout is. So make sure you know where the star is and maybe put your glue, ooh, it's a fresh one. Oh, look at that, brand new glue stick. Is there anything better, friends? All right. And put your glue, oof, 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 there we go. Got it started right around your star. You can always lift up the corners of the paper and glue some more stuff down later. And my card it has a mermaid on the back, so mine is double-sided. If yours isn't, you can always decorate the side that doesn't have printing on it. All right, so there we go, friends. Okay. Glue it down. stripey star just like that now friends if you want you can grab some colored pencils or some markers or some crayons to continue to decorate your card or to write your note inside just remember it is cardstock so if you get a really thick marker it might bleed through to the other side if that's the look you're going for then go right ahead but just know that a really thick, like a Sharpie marker or something like that, it might show through on the other side. And so you just have to know if you want to do that or not. So you can take your colored pencils and you can keep decorating. Maybe I want to do some more stars on my card here. Some more stars like that. Yeah, I like that. There we go. All right. And that's what mine looks like. Now, my young friends, if you've got your grown-up around and you want some help or you want to get creative, you want to maybe, oh, maybe you want to cut both your pieces in half 
and mish them together. Just make sure you get your scissors and you have your grown up help you, okay? You can probably handle the glue. I know you can handle the glue, but just make sure your grown up is around when you have your, um, when you've got scissors, okay? All right, so there's our star, and then decide who you want to send it to. You'll need a stamp and a grown-up to help you address the envelope. You need a pretty big envelope for this, but you know maybe you take a walk outside on a nice day and just drop a card in the mailbox to a friend you don't get to see very much right now. So I'm going to think about who I want to send this card to. And if you'd like to send the card to your friendly neighborhood librarians, we're at 80 Washington Street in Winchester, Massachusetts, 01890. Just a suggestion, but I'm sure you've already got an idea who you want to send your card to. All right, my friends. So that was our card for the day. I've got my star card, and I'm going to think about who I want to send it to. Hmm, who am I going to send it to? I don't know. Who are you going to send your card to? And as always, friends, when you finish your fabulous crafty creations, please feel free to send them our way or tag us at WinPublib so we can see what wonderful things you've been making with our craft bags. All right, so this is my card. Can't wait to see yours. Thank you so much for joining me today, my friends. And we will see you again next Monday for another fun, crafty afternoon. Thank you for crafting with me today, my friends. And as always, be kind, stay safe, wash your hands, and wear your mask. See you soon.